Hello dear student, welcome to my class. We already discussed what is wavefront and what is wavelet, what is secondary source and details about wave nature of light and what is interference when there is two light coming from two source with same uh, frequency or chromatic uh, means uh, chromatic light or monochromatic light then we get interference pattern on the screen and we get maxima at a particular point and minima at a particular point. If the path reference between two wave delta x equal to n lambda clear at that time we get maximum intensity where n equal to 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. Similarly for condition of minima when path reference between two wave that means delta x equal to 2n plus 1 into lambda by 2 at that time we get destructive interference or minimum intensity of light clear we already discussed so interference pattern now we will start a new concept here the diffraction of light diffraction of light means bending of light how light bent clear so first we already know that the rectilinear propagation of light that means light always travel in a straight line path so suppose there is a slit here there is a source and slit here if you place here source suppose here a slit or we can say this is a small aperture this is aperture this point a and this point b it is known as aperture small aperture you can say small opening or you can say small opening a b and there is a source this point this is light source clear we already know that light emit energy or light emit ray in all the direction and if we place a screen here at a particular distance this is screen clear now the right which is travel straight line and this is for rectilinear propagation rectilinear propagation of light then the ray which traveling straight line direction in one medium it travel this direction and fall on the screen and strike on the screen clear and another one ray which travel this direction and meet on the screen straight line this is rectilinear propagation of light wave clear another one example we can take here suppose there is a obstacle here or any opaque medium and if we place a source here which emit light in all the directions similarly there is a screen here this screen now the ray which travel this direction due to opaque medium or any obstacle this is obstacle then it absorb or if this is suppose plane mirror then it reflect back to the same medium or this light this ray of light which is not used now another ray which coming this direction and fall on the screen like this similarly you can choose another ray like this here this is for rectilinear propagation of light wave similarly you can take suppose there is a ray coming this direction and we have to draw a normal here angle of incident equal to angle of reflection is equal so it reflected back to the same medium and similarly if we take another ray here and it reflect back to the this medium that means this ray is unused light but this light which is coming uh, uh, coming inside the whole AB or coming through the small aperture or small opening AB which fall on the screen similarly the source which emit light in all the direction and the rays are which traveling this direction and it uh, pass 
by a obstacle or pass through the obstacle and meet this point and the ray which travel this direction and it return back to the same direction clear this is uh, uh, the case of rectilinear propagation of light wave clear rectilinear propagation of light wave means this ray travel in the straight line direction here travel in the straight line direction but here we deals with the diffraction of light clear actually it is 17th century there is a, a property or there is a concept that what is that concept and we already know in wave optics the dimension of the obstacle or dimension of the object is comparable size with the wavelength of light so here the size the size uh, of aperture the size of aperture or obstacle the size of aperture or obstacle which is comparable which is nearly equal to wavelength of light wavelength of light at that time it shows diffraction of light it shows diffraction of light clear and what is diffraction of light look the diagram when light passes through small opening or small aperture it spread this is shadow region or this is rectilinear propagation of light and we get here illuminance illuminated area or here we get the light between this point to this point and this area is known as shadow shadow region and here also this region is known as shadow region clear similarly this region is shadow region and here there is light and this is a bright region or illuminated region clear okay now size of aperture and obstacle which is nearly or comparable with the wavelength of light lambda then we get uh, diffraction pattern so what is the diffraction what is the meaning of diffraction diffraction means when light passes through a small aperture and due to the size of aperture which is equal to wavelength of light it spread towards the shadow region it spread or this is known as geometrical shadow geometrical light spread just spread towards the geometrical region that means here light bend in this direction this direction clear and now this region is now uh, illuminated region due to refraction this region is now illuminated region or bright light here get clear and similarly the ray which traveling this direction due to diffraction phenomena the light bend towards the shadow region and now this region is look like bright or illuminated illuminated region clear similarly here also when light traveling this straight line path this is rectilinear propagation but here this is obstacle and suppose this obstacle is d this is also we can say width of the obstacle d here the wavelength lambda is very small as compared to obstacle at that time we get a diffraction pattern so here when light uh, coming from the source and pass by the obstacle then it uh, uh, it bend it bend round the edge of the obstacle this is edge so it bend round the obstacle edge of the obstacle like this clear so we get now this region is illuminated region illuminated but initially which was geometrical shadow there is no light but now due to diffraction pattern we get a light also here Similarly, another one point, this is also bent 
राउंड द सेडो रीजन और जियोमेट्रिकल सेडो नाउ वी गेट दिस रीजन इज नाउ इलोमिनेटेड 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 रीजन क्लियर Why all the phenomena are happening? Because we already know if there is a source or a point source, it emits light in all the directions, and we already know the nature of wavefront. What is wavefront? The direction of wavefront or the direction of propagation of wave always perpendicular to the wavefront. So it produces a wavefront like this. This is wavefront. Chair wave front, clear. Now this wave front strike this point and finally emerge out this direction. And here, this is also there is a. This is wave front, and we already know that each point on the wave front, which behave as a fresh source or secondary source, and it emit light in all the direction and it produce wavelet. Now, if we uh, join the triangle, uh, join the envelope, envelope to the forward direction of the wavelet, then you get another wave front. So, like this, there is a point on the wave front. There is also point on the wave front. This slit is very small, so there we get a straight line pattern. So, due to this point or due to this point, we get the interference. Uh, so we get the uh, wave front like this. Here also we get in this direction. Clear? This is wave front. Similarly, if we choose this point, then we get here also wave front like this. Clear? And we already know the ray, which is always perpendicular to the wave front so this angle must be 90 degree so this angle must be 90 and here this angle must be 90 degree so now we get due to uh, the small wavelength of light then this region is now get illuminated region or bright light and here also we get bright light due to this wave nature of light similarly you can draw this point suppose there is two point now wave front start this point like this why because this is source and wave front starting from here like this and each point on the wave front which behave as a secondary source and produce wavelet in all the direction like this here clear this is the wave front of the light so this angle should be 90 degree and this angle should be 90 degree clear and due to wave nature of light and due to small wavelength as compared to slit or due to small wavelength as compared to wavelength uh, width of the obstacle or this is small or narrow hole small hole we can say small opening small hole or small aperture due to this case light just bend light just round clear light just bend around the edge of the obstacle and it just spread towards the pseudo region and this is also pseudo region this is known as the diffraction pattern of light clear okay if you want to write the definition of diffraction of light means when when light passes through passes through the aperture aperture or small opening or small opening opening uh, the light the light the certain light spread out the light spread out towards the geometrical shadow region clear okay and when light another one case you can say and due to this phenomena occur that is diffraction pattern or you can say another point when 
लाइट व्हेन लाइट पास बाय एन ऑब्स्टेकल ऑब्स्टेकल इट गेट बेंड राउंड इट गेट बेंड राउंड वी कैन गेट बेंड राउंड एट द एट द एज वी कैन राइट हियर एट द एज ऑफ द ऑब्स्टेकल क्लियर एट द एज ऑफ द ऑब्स्टेकल टू वर्स geometrical region and that phenomena is called diffraction of light wave clear this is called diffraction of light wave so there is two type of diffraction of light so here we deals with diffraction of light wave there is two type of diffraction uh, first one that is fresnel's diffraction and second one that is fronhofer f r a u n h o f f e r fronhofer's diffraction and this first fresnel's diffraction of light fresnel's diffraction of light so what is the meaning of fresnel's diffraction of light and what about fraunhofer diffraction of light suppose there is a small slit or there is a small aperture or small gap and suppose we place a source here which emit light all the directions and here we get here we place a screen where we get interference pattern suppose this is uh, distance is d clear and this is slit at this point is a and this point is b and the right which uh, because uh, the wave front all uh, the ray of light or propagation of light always perpendicular to wave front and the ray which traveling this direction starts straight line and here also the light which pass through this point it travel this direction and another one light which pass this point this travel this direction clear and we already know this is a spherical source and each point on the wave front which behave as a secondary source or fresh source and it emit light this direction also so we can take another ray traveling this direction means here and we can take another ray is here clear and in this way we get a brightness is here and this point we get brightness but here we don't need no need any no need any convex convex lens and here we get a blur image clear we don't gain any sharp brightness or we don't get any sharp darkness we get the condition of blur so here no need any convex lens and second point the separation of the screen this is screen the separation of the screen or source which is a finite distance from the slit this is slit clear source and screen source and screen from a uh, slit which is finite distance finite distance at the time we get a blur brightness or blur darkness this is fresnel uh, fresnel diffraction but this is not your syllabus but here we deals with the fraunhofer diffraction of light so what is fraunhofer similarly there is a slit like this and this point is a and this point is b 
सपोज देर इज ए सोर्स एस हुईज एमिट लाइट ऑल द डायरेक्शन एंड वी हैव टू टेक ए स्क्रीन हियर हयर वी गेट द इंटरफरेन्स पैटर्न ऑफ लाइट ड्यू टू दिस सोर्स पॉइंट एंड हियर द रे हुईज ट्रेवलिंग दिस डायरेक्शन एंड मिट दिस पॉइंट सपोज देर ए पॉइंट ए एंड पॉइंट बी एंड द रे ट्रेवलिंग बिकॉज इट एमिट लाइट इन ऑल द डायरेक्शन दिस डायरेक्शन दिस इज वेबलेट और सॉरी वेब फ्रंट ड्यू टू दिस सोर्स बिकॉज इच एंड एवरी पॉइंट ऑन द वेब फ्रंट बिहेव एज ए फ्रेश सोर्स सो इट एमिट वेब इन ऑल द डायरेक्शन लाइक दिस क्लियर सो वी कैन टेक डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ रे हियर इन थ्री डायमेंशन सो वी कैन टेक अनदर सपोज वन रे इज हियर एंड अनदर रे इज हियर बट इन केस ऑफ फ्रंट हफर डिफ्रेक्शन ऑफ लाइट वी वी हैव टू प्लेस दिस स्क्रीन एंड स्लीट व्हिच इज फार डिस्टेंस इनफाइनाइट डिस्टेंस वी कैन से स्लीट सॉरी सोर्स एंड स्क्रीन इनफाइनाइट सोर्स और स्क्रीन यू कैन राइट सोर्स और स्क्रीन और ऑल्सो सोर्स और सीन स्क्रीन एज इनफाइनाइट डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम फ्रॉम स्लीट क्लियर एंड हियर वी प्लेस ए कॉन्वेक्स मिरर एंड दिस डिस्टेंस यू कैन टेक इनफाइनाइट डिस्टेंस दिस इज कॉन्वेक्स मिरर क्लियर एंड वी ऑलरेडी नो द रे which is parallel to the principal axis suppose this is principal axis and here we use a thin lens here this is optical center the ray which is parallel to the principal axis at the refraction through lens or convex lens it bend towards a focus point it diverges sorry it converges towards a focus point so it converges towards this point now we have to place a screen at the focus point so we get a sharp bright light or we get a sharp sharp bright point here clear similarly if you take another ray here this is first point and you can take another ray from second ray and these two ray also parallel to each other we already know if two rays are parallel to each other but they are not parallel to principal axis after refraction through lens they meet on the focus plane or focal plane this is known as focal plane similarly you can take another one ray is here a b ray is here which are parallel to each other but these rays are not parallel to principal axis after refraction through convex lens they meet at a particular point or a particular plane on the focal plane clear so we get a sharp image this is known as fronopor diffraction and in this case we will start the most important long question for your council examination that is known as single slit diffraction single slit diffraction single slit diffraction of light wave clear this is important relation by using the front hopper diffraction of light but here fresnel diffraction is not in your syllabus only front hopper diffraction and it consist single slit diffraction of light now we will start this long question so what is diffraction pattern uh, you can take example suppose uh, there is a sunlight which coming from a small hole of the window then if there is a small hole point in the window but light coming from this point which is a large radius like this radius why this phenomena occurs due to the diffraction of light clear or if you want to see the uh, a light object suppose there is a ball which emit light all the direction clear if you want to see this blob now place your hand and this is finger and there is a small hole in between two fingers clear now look at this point like this then you will observe that the ball is look like a bigger size but here the uh, hole is very small due to the diffraction of light this is known as diffraction phenomena in case of light clear so now we will start another one important long question diffraction at a single slit we already discuss uh, interference of light or young's double slit experiment so what is the difference between uh, young's double slit experiment and your uh, diffraction at a single slit so difference is that in young's double slit experiment we use uh, 
two slits here, double slit. But here we only use a single slit. And what is the similarity between them? Here we get the interference pattern on the screen and here also we get the interference pattern on the screen. That means we get here maximum intensity of light and minimum intensity of light and central maxima. Here also we get central maxima. So now let's start diffraction at a single slit. Diagram is important. So suppose there is a slit here, single slit. This is single slit here and suppose there is a point source which emit light all the directions. Now we have to place a convex lens here. There is a convex lens and we have to place the convex lens in such a way that support its focal length L. And we have to place this source. We have to place there is a, we have to place a source here such that this source S which lies on the focal length of this convex lens. Clear? So here a convex lens and we have to place here and here this point is a focus point or focal length of the lens convex lens. Clear? And we already know the light which is parallel to the principal axis of convex lens, then it travels on deviatedly like this. So it travel this direction. Clear? Okay. Now another one ray which incident at this point, then it travels parallel direction. It travels this parallel direction. Why? Because the ray which are parallel to lens after refraction through lens, convex lens is converged to a particular point. Similarly, the ray which are coming from, uh, which are coming or which are diverged at a point after refraction through a lens, it travel parallel to the principal axis or if we place here the optical center, the light pass through optical center, it travels on deviatedly. Similarly, we can take another ray is here, then it travel this parallel direction, this direction. Clear? And now, here the source S which produce a wavefront like this. These are the wavefront of a point source S and this is plane wavefront or planar wavefront now after refraction through the lens. This is planar wavefront. We can say this wavefront W and W dash. Okay. And this is slit and this point is A and this point is point B. Clear? And we already know that each point on the wavefront which behave as a source. So there is a planar wavefront which coming towards the single slit or coming towards the small opening here and this is the point on the wavefront and here there is a wavefront, plane wavefront in this direction, clear? Okay. Now we have to place a lens here by using the front hopper diffraction. So we have to place a lens here like this and there is a screen and we have to place the screen in such a way that its focal length, its focal length if here then we have to place screen on the focal length of this lens. You can say, uh, choose this lens L1 and this lens which is L2, clear? So we have to place this screen on the focal length or focus point of the second lens L2, this lens L2, clear? This is optical center C and this is focus point. So now let's start. Here there is two point A point and B point. Suppose this middle point is C point. There is three point on the wave front. Then this three point which emit light in all the direction. How all the direction? 
suppose if you want to write here there is a single slit this point is a point and here this point is b point there is another point c point this is the point on the wavefront and it emit light all the direction like this If you choose one point, point A, then this is the wavefront of point A. Similarly, if we take another point B, then it emit light all the direction, and these are the wavefront. These are the wavefront. And you already know, propagation of light always perpendicular to wavefront. So you can take different type of ray like this. You can take like this here, in this direction. Clear. Similarly, we can take this is ray and this direction and this direction here. Clear. So, the uh, look at this diagram. This two rays, this ray and this ray, which are parallel. These two rays are parallel to each other, which coming from two point A point and B point. Similarly, we can take this ray and this ray, which are parallel to. Each other. We have to take this concept here. Suppose the ray which coming from point C and it travel this direction and which incident on the optical center of second lens and we already know it travels on deviatedly and meet at the screen. Clear? This is screen. Now you can choose another ray which starting from point A. This direction, or you can take uh, another ray from point C. If there is another point C, then this direction it emit wave. This direction, we can check these three rays are parallel. Similarly, here uh, these three rays are parallel. Clear? So if we take a ray from point C, then this is like this, which incident on the uh, second lens and another one ray take from point A and these two rays are parallel and point B also if you take another ray here these three rays are parallel to each other clear so here A point B point and C point which are parallel this uh, produce light which is parallel direction like this by using this concept here clear okay now start suppose this angle theta and this angle is known as diffraction angle and here the light uh, which uh, is parallel to each other but this light are not parallel to principal axis but it makes certain angle theta with the principal axis after diffraction through the lens it meet at a focal plane we already know the concept here clear we will discuss in a uh, telescope so the ray which are parallel to each other after refraction through second lens they meet at a point here any point like this clear meet at this point but here we have to find this point suppose p and this point is o this point will give bright light or dark light we have to determine here clear this direction now we can take another ray this is this is straight line which is coming from c and another ray we can take here this ray which is coming from a and this ray which is uh, coming from point B and parallel to principal axis. These three rays are parallel to principal axis. We can take here double arrow mark like this. After refraction through the prism, the concept of uh, sorry refraction through the lens at the parallel ray, refraction through lens they are meet at the focus on the principal axis. So they travel this direction and meet this focus point. This point. Clear? Or we can take another one type of ray here. This point, first, second, third ray, A point, B point, and C point here. So, uh, you may get confused. I think you may get confused. So, 
will draw this two diagram you can take at an angle theta which is below the principal axis now we have to start this point p which give bright light a bright light or a dark light and this angle is also theta because this angle theta now this angle also theta clear okay so here we have to find the point p which lies on the screen and this point p which give bright light or dark light clear okay now let's start calculation part the width of the slit suppose this width of the slit is small d and this is slit single slit width of the slit is small d and this point p uh, this point o and this point p and we have to study about the point p so how can we find brightness or darkness how can we find maximum intensity of light or minimum intensity of light constructive interference and destructive interference first we have to know what is the path difference and phase difference between two wave clear so first we have to find path difference here path difference path difference between two wave now we have to draw a perpendicular here because suppose if you choose two point point a and point b if you choose two point point a and point b this ray which starting from point a and this ray also starting from point b but the ray which starting from point a which travel a smaller distance as compared to point b because it's travel large distance so there is path difference clear so how can we find path difference now we have to draw a perpendicular from point a on the rays b like this we have to draw a perpendicular here this is perpendicular and here this angle is 90 degree if this angle theta if this angle theta because this is wave front and this is width we can say here this distance is d if this angle theta then this total angle is 90 so this angle 90 minus theta if this angle 90 minus theta and this angle 90 so this angle must be theta this is the co uh, concept of geometry but this distance is known as delta x so what is delta x delta x means it is the path difference between two wave which originating from point a and point b at point p so this point we get a path difference delta x now we have to find the value of delta x this is base uh, sorry this if this angle theta look like this angle here like this here this angle 90 and this angle now theta here and this distance is d and this is known as width sorry uh, path difference delta x so how can we find delta x because this angle is theta and this is perpendicular and sin theta content perpendicular so we can write here sin theta and theta is here we can write diffraction angle diffraction angle which give the direction of the ray which give the direction of brightness or which give the direction of maxima and minima on the screen clear so sin theta equal to perpendicular upon hypotenuse and perpendicular is here delta x hypotenuse is here d so path difference delta x can be right d sin theta so we get path difference clear okay if this path difference which is equal to n lambda we already know for constructive interference for constructive if path difference is lam n lambda then we get constructive interference for a destructive interference if delta x equal to 2n plus 1 lambda by 2 we get destructive interference we clearly discuss this concept in interference of light wave or in Young's double slit experiment so now we have to find here maximum intensity of light and minimum intensity of light so first we will start case number one case one 
मिनिमम इंटेंसिटी ऑफ लाइट सो फॉर पोजिशन ऑफ मिनिमा यू कैन से फॉर पोजिशन ऑफ मिनिमा और मिनिमम इंटेंसिटी ऑफ लाइट वी हैव टू फाइंड दिस पॉइंट क्लियर बट वी हैव टू सपोज हियर सपोज और इफ इफ डेल्टा एक्स पाथ डिफरेंस बिटवीन टू वेव व्हिच इज इक्वल टू लैम्बडा इफ वी हैव टू कंसीडर हियर इफ डेल्टा एक्स इक्वल टू लैम्बडा वी ऑलरेडी नो इफ पाथ डिफरेंस जीरो लैम्बडा टू लैम्बडा थ्री लैम्बडा फोर लैम्बडा फाइव लैम्बडा एंड सो ऑन देन वी गेट कंस्ट्रक्टिव इंटरफेरेंस और मैक्सिमम इंटेंसिटी ऑफ लाइट बट हियर वी हैव टू फाइंड पोजीशन ऑफ मिनिमा मींस मिनिमम इंटेंसिटी ऑफ लाइट हियर वी गेट मिनिमम इंटेंसिटी ऑफ लाइट बट वी हैव टू कंसीडर हियर इफ डेल्टा एक्स इज लैम्बडा देन वी गेट द देन वी गेट द कंक्लूजन ऑफ कंक्लूजन फॉर पोजीशन ऑफ मिनिमा इफ डेल्टा एक्स इज लैम्बडा देन वी कैन राइट डी साइन थीटा वन आई एम राइटिंग योर थीटा वन और डेल यू कैन राइट हियर थीटा व्हिच इज इक्वल टू लैम्बडा सपोज क्लियर और फर्स्ट वी हैव टू फाइंड हियर आई एम राइटिंग हियर फर्स्ट फर्स्ट पॉइंट और केस नंबर वन फर्स्ट पॉइंट फॉर डार्क फर्स्ट डार्क फ्रेंच फर्स्ट फास्ट ड्रग फिंच और फास्ट मिनिमा फॉर फास्ट मिनिमा वी हैव टू चूज हियर इफ डेल्टा एक्स इक्वल टू हियर वी कैन एड इफ डेल्टा एक्स इक्वल टू लामड़ा एंड व्हिच इज इक्वल टू डी साइन थीटा वन सपोज द रेज व्हिच आर मेक थीटा वन विथ प्रिंसिपल एक्सिस सपोज दिस एंगल थीटा वन and which is equal to here lambda clear okay but here we use the wavelength of light which is very small as compared to width of the slit so at that time here theta is very small theta is very small all angle or diffraction angle is very small which makes angle angle the prince which make theta angle with principal axis which is very small due to this concept clear so you can write here d we already know if theta is very small then sin theta nearly equal to theta so you can write here d theta 1 which is equal to lambda and here we can write theta 1 theta 1 equal to lambda by d clear and this is the direction of first minima on the screen on the screen clear okay this is theta 1 equal to lambda by d and theta 1 is here diffraction angle which give the direction which give the direction at this point at this point t clear okay now this case we have to assume that here so here we get lambda by d okay this is slit and this point is a and this point is b here clear now for fast dark fringe for minimum intensity of light this is case of minima so here we have to we have to divide this slit in two parts for for fast dark fringe we have divide it into two parts so if you divide into two part then this point this is first part and this is second part upper part and this is lower part then this is the ray of light like this clear and this is the perpendicular here and this distance we get here this distance is delta x and we choose here delta x is here lambda if delta x is lambda then we divide this two ray in half of the distance upper part and lower part then we can say here this is width and here we can write this distance how much will be this distance or how much will be this phase path difference between these two rays 
because these two rays, these two rays path reference is lambda. Then if we divide it in half part or equal part or two parts, then what is this distance? And this distance will be now lambda by 2 because this is lambda and this distance will be lambda by 2. Clear? Okay. Suppose the upper part consists one, uh, one ray, two, three rays and suppose four rays. 1, 2, 3, 4. Similarly, if you draw here 4 rays, 1, 2 and 3, 1, 2, 3 and this is 4 rays. Now, if you choose 1 ray from upper part, this is 1 ray from upper part and corresponding 1 ray from lower part. 1 ray from upper part and 1 ray from lower part. Then what is the phase difference, oh sorry, what is the path difference between two rays is lambda by 2. Because here lambda by this distance, this distance is here lambda by 2. Because total distance lambda and this distance lambda by 2 and this is lambda by 2. So the path difference between the first ray from upper part and corresponding first ray from lower part, we get lambda by 2. And if path difference is lambda by 2, we get a destructive interference that's why we use here if delta x equal to lambda then if you choose if you use this concept we get a delta x at point p which gives the path difference of two wave which is lambda by two similarly if you choose second ray here second ray from upper part the second ray from upper part and second ray from lower part and then again this is path reference and here also path reference lambda by 2 similarly third ray upper part and third ray lower part and this part then we get a path reference lambda by 2 similarly if we get this is 4 point and this is 4 point upper part and lower part then we get here a path reference lambda by 2 so each and every point we get a path reference is lambda by 2 if we divide into two equal part so we get a destructive interference on the screen that's why we use here delta x which is equal to lambda clear and here theta 1 which is equal to lambda by d clear next come to second point for second dark fringe second dark fringe or it is known as second minima similarly we can take here suppose or if path difference between two wave is because uh, here we have lambda two lambda three lambda so on so we have to take here two lambda if two lambda then we can get d sin theta two which is equal to two lambda and theta two is a very small so we can write sin theta two equal to theta two so d theta two equal to two lambda and theta two equal to two lambda by d clear so from this angle if this angle theta 1 we get here a dark point and again if this angle theta 2 we get here a again dark point and this point is known as secondary minima this was first minima clear and this is known as direction direction of second minima direction from, uh, from second minima from principal axis on the screen in this case we have to divide here two times we have to divide two equal part now we have to divide here four equal part you have to remember this concept for first uh, for first dark fringe two part for second dark fringe we have to divide four part so this point is point a and this is slit distance and this point is point b and this is slit clear now we we'll divide it four part one part uh, here one part two part three part and four part now this is ray one part clear this is two part three part and four part but here the this is initial case this ray and this ray we have to take only two rays path reference is here delta x equal to lambda so first and this last point a point and b point here the path difference this angle is 90 degree here and this path difference is here 2 lambda if this path difference is 2 lambda then 
this distance, this path reference will be, this path reference, this path reference, how can we find? Now, if we divide it four part, then we can write two lambda divided by four, then one by two, one by two. Now, if you minus two lambda here, because this is final two lambda, two lambda minus lambda by two, then each part is lambda by 2 lambda by 2 so 2 lambda minus lambda by 2 we get here that is 3 lambda by 2 so this path difference this path difference is now we can write here 3 lambda by 2 again here 3 lambda by 2 and this path difference is lambda by 2 so 3 lambda by 2 minus lambda by 2 equal to lambda so this point or this path difference we get here lambda again this is lambda and here lambda by 2 and we get here this path difference is lambda by 2 lambda by 2 and here path difference 0 0 lambda by 2 lambda 3 lambda by 2 and here finally we get 2 lambda clear so in this way we divide uh, this interference pattern now look at the diagram here Suppose there is two rays, if you take one rays is here and two and three and this is point four. Similarly, one, two, three and four here. Clear? Okay. Now, this distance, always this uh, phase difference, sorry, path difference here, lambda by two, this between two rays, here lambda by two, lambda by two, lambda by two. Now, look at the fast ray from upper part and pass ray from lower part then here also we get a path reference lambda by 2 similarly second point and here second point lambda by 2 and here third point and third point lambda by 2 and fourth point and fourth point lambda by 2 so they cancel each other and we get a dark point here clear similarly these two if we divide 1 2 3 1 2 3 then first ray and first we get lambda by 2 second and second lambda by 2 third and third lambda by 2 so we get a point p which give the dark point clear so we divide it a four equal part we get a dark fringe similarly if you want to find for third case for third dark fringe for third dark fringe we have to take here if delta x equal to 3 lambda then we can write d sin theta 3 which is equal to 3 lambda but theta is very small here theta 3 equal to 3 lambda by d we can write here and now we have to divide this slit this point is a and this point is b it a equals 6 part this is 6 part 2 4 6 in this way and each corresponding ray and which make a path reference of lambda by 2 at point p so we get destructive interference similarly for nth you can write for nth nth dark fringe nth dark fringe we can write here if delta x equal to 3 that means n lambda for third 3 lambda 2 2 lambda 1 means lambda so n means n lambda so here we can write d sin theta n equal to n lambda or theta n equal to n lambda by d this is the direction of nth dark fringe on the uh, screen from principal axis clear these are all about how to calculate dark fringe now we will start for bright fringe now case number two we get a maxima maxima are called for position for position for secondary maxima and this point O which is known as central maxima why it is called central maxima because if you choose any ray from point A and point B there is no phase uh, there is no path difference while they are meeting at point O on the screen so we get at this point we get the maximum intensity of light and this is known as central maxima and after that we get the position of secondary maxima so first we have to find here uh, for first secondary maxima after central maxima after central maxima we get this point p p any any point on the screen 
we get here this is central maxima and this is known as first secondary maxima and here this is known as secondary maxima and so on clear so here also we have to choose if delta x is here 3 lambda by 2 why we choose here 3 lambda by 2 look at this relation if path difference is lambda 2 lambda 3 lambda and so on we get constructive interference if path difference is here lambda by 2 then 3 lambda by 2 5 lambda by 2 and so on we get destructive interference because for a minimum intensity of light we already chose the path difference is lambda means we get a destructive interference after central maxima is here if destructive interference is lambda, we choose here uh, uh, destructive interference at this point after central maxima and we already choose this is lambda, first case. Now we cannot choose for maximum intensity lambda. So we have to choose greater than lambda which is equal to 3 lambda by 2 for maximum intensity of light, clear? So we have to use your delta x equal to 3 lambda by 2 and path reference formula d sin theta 1 dash. I am writing out theta dash which is equal to we can write 3 lambda by 2 and here same concept d is very large as compared to here the wavelength of light so sin theta nearly equal to theta so we can write here d theta 1 dash equal to 3 lambda by 2 and theta 1 dash equal to 3 lambda by 2 d 3 lambda by 2 d and it gives the direction of direction of first secondary maxima on the screen on the screen clear okay now come to the concept point here this point is a and here this point is b and here coming ray like this direction and here this direction because this is the wave front and this distance is with uh, slit distance or width d and here this point is uh, perpendicular this angle 90 what we chose here the path difference is when path difference is 3 lambda by 2 at point p p is in arbitrary point so here this uh, distance is 3 lambda by 2 now for constructive interference we have to divide it into three part three 5, 7 like this. So first divided 3 part because we already divided 2 part for minimum case. So if you divide 3 part then this is uh, because this 3 lambda by 2 only path reference first ray and second ray. Now you divide 3 part first, second, first, second and third. 3 equal part. Then each difference will be or each path difference this ray and this ray there is a path reference similarly this ray and this ray there is also a path reference so how the path reference like this here so you have to divide 3 lambda by 2 into 3 equal part 3 3 cancel so we get lambda by 2 clear we get path reference how much here path reference is lambda by 2 3 3 cancel uh, lambda by 2 okay if you minus here 3 lambda by 2 minus lambda by 2 here 2 is common then 3 lambda minus 2 we can write here uh, which is equal to 3 lambda minus lambda which is equal to 2 lambda by 2 and cancel lambda so this path difference which is equal to lambda clear if this path difference is lambda then this path difference is lambda by 2 and this is 0 0 lambda by 2 lambda then 3 lambda by 2 and 2 lambda we get this, uh, this is concept okay now we have to so the same way, suppose there is one upper layer and this is lower layer, upper layer or upper region, first ray, second ray and suppose this is third ray. Similarly for lower layer, first, second and third. Now, the phase difference between this is here lambda by 2 and here this ray is lambda by 2 because lambda by 2 is lambda, lambda by 2 and lambda 3 lambda by 2 lambda is lambda by 2. So if you choose first ray from upper part and uh, first ray from lower part and here also lambda by 2, these two rays are cancelled this point. 
ओके अगेन हियर दिस इज लामडा बाई टू एंड हियर ऑल्सो लामडा बाई टू दिस इज कैंसल इच अदर क्लियर एंड हियर लामडा बाई टू एंड लामडा बाई टू कैंसल इच अदर देन दिस टू सेपरेशन व्हिच कैंसल इच अदर ड्यू टू सेम फे पाथ डिफरेंस बिटवीन टू वेव नाउ देयर इज अनदर पार्ट ऑल्सो लास्ट पार्ट वन रे टू रे थ्री रेज देन दिस रे इज नॉट Uh, this ray is unused ray because this two point pass upper part and lower part cancel and this part is remaining and this part consists of light and this light is now fall on the screen and this point will give us a bright light clear so we divide it into three part and we get a constructive interference or first secondary maxima that is theta 1 dash from the principal axis theta 1 dash means this point on the screen we get this relation similarly case number 2 for second secondary maxima here we get if delta x equal to 3 lambda by 2 and again 5 lambda by 2 that is 5 lambda by 2 and here d sin theta 2 d s equal to 5 lambda by 2 and theta 2 ds equal to 5 lambda by 2d clear similarly now divide this slit the slit a and b here three part and now we have to divide it that is five part 1 2 3 4 5 clear and for 1 2 3 4 remaining part is 5 so we get a bright light here this case so this is known as direction of the second secondary maxima and if we continue this process then finally we get for for nth secondary nth secondary maxima which we get here that is theta n dash which is equal to this is 5 so we can write it 2n plus 1 lambda by 2d 2n plus 1 lambda by 2d and here what is n n is here 1 2 3 4 a uh, minimum case also n equal to 1 2 3 4 5 1 so if we place n equal to 1 then 2 1 2 2 plus 1 3 3 by 2 which is equal to 1 here 3 by 2 2d 3 by 2 2d clear so this is general case so this is the direction of nth bright fringe on the screen from the principal axis clear so these are the concept of maximum intensity of light and minimum intensity of light now we'll start intensity distribution curve intensity means maximum intensity and minimum intensity with respect to uh, angle of slit or with respect to diffraction angle suppose if we draw a diagram here this is curve this is origin and here we get the central maxima clear this is central maxima point here we can take y axis and you can take x axis this is negative sign here so we already know for a uh, minima minima here theta 1 which is equal to lambda by d and theta 2 which is equal to 2 lambda by d clear and theta 3 that is 3 lambda by d and so on or for maxima for maximum intensity of light theta 1 dash which is equal to 3 lambda by to d and theta 2 ds equal to 5 lambda by 2 d here clear and so on clear okay now look at the diagram suppose this distance is lambda by d lambda by d and here this distance is if we take here 2 lambda by d and this distance is here 3 lambda by d or uh, the but uh, the before the origin here negative sign you can write lambda by d distance here and here this distance 2 lambda by d negative sign and here minus 3 lambda by d and so on and so on here and here we have to take theta means diffraction angle diffraction angle versus intensity of light here we have to take intensity intensity of light maximum or minimum intensity of light so from this graph we conclude that here we get this is minimum and this is minimum 
minima at this point and here also minima this is first minima second minima and third minima 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 this point so from the relation we conclude that here we get maximum intensity of light for central maxima so the graph will be like this we get here maximum intensity then this point is minima and this point is known as central maxima this point central maxima and after that we get first minima and again we get here a bright light and here also a brightness and here also a maxima and this point also give a maximum and this point is maximum and this point is maximum but here in single slit diffraction if this is 100% of light or this is the maximum intensity of light this is maximum intensity of light and this is known as first secondary maxima and this point we can write here theta 1 dash which is equal to 3 lambda by 2 d and here we get the graph like this and again we get the graph like this and finally come to 0. Similarly this point like this here graph clear. So here we have here the maximum intensity suppose 1 then here 21 time decrease there is a ratio 1 is to 1 by 21 is to 1 by 61 is to 1 by 121 like this first we get maximum this is maximum and again we have to find a brightness here but this brightness is very negligible that is 1 by 21 time decrease here and again 1 by 61 time decrease here and finally 0 but for uh, Young's double slit experiment if intensity of light equal then we get a clear image and this image which is like this here and energy distribution for Young's double slit experiment like this we get always a maximum intensity of light this is Young's double slit experiment but here we get uh, this concept here and finally we get a maximum intensity light at central maxima and after that we get a very negligible light and finally there is no light clear so this is maximum bright point now we have to find this distance this distance is known as linear linear width linear width of central maxima clear okay now we have to find this distance this distance is known as linear width so first find angular width width of central angular width of central maxima and we have to draw a slit here here this slit and this point a and this point is b here source and here the screen like this this is screen here clear and this distance is d slit to d distance slit and screen separated by a capital d distance and in previous diagram also this distance is d slit and screen now this point is c common point and this is the point o where we get the central maxima and suppose uh, here we get first minima and here we get first minima on both sides suppose this angle theta and this angle theta and here we get this diagram this diagram is here we can draw like this clear this is diagram we get here maximum intensity of light this point we get maximum intensity of light so this total angle is here 2 theta and 2 theta is known as angular width angular width so how can we find this angular width so angular width can be find because here uh, this is uh, central maxima this is 
central maxima at this point is fast minima at this point also fast minima clear so now write the definition of angular width the angular width of the central maxima is the separation between fast minima on both side of the central maxima means this is both side on the central maxima this is fast minima and this is also fast minima we have to find this angle and this angle is here to theta clear so we already know as we know theta equal to lambda by d this for fast minima and here fast minima and this is 2 theta so here 2 theta equal to 2 lambda by d clear this is this is for fast minima fast minima and this is known as angular width angular width of central maxima clear okay now you can find linear width linear width of central maxima and what is linear width here this linear distance which is equal to uh, here x and this distance also x which is equal to 2x and here linear distance we can write here beta and beta is here 2x we have to find this linear width here we already know angle angle equal to r upon radius but here we use lambda is very small as compared to d so this point at this point the first minima and this point is a uh, first minima below uh, this uh, two opposite point here uh, two opposite separates or uh, two opposite side of the central maxima which is very near to each other so we can write here angle equal to angle is here theta but here theta which is equal to two theta we can write directly here two theta which is equal to arc upon radius and here arc this is arc is here 2x so we can write here 2x divided by radius and this radius because this point is very close to each other so we can write here d so we can write d here clear okay now here 2 theta the value of 2 theta we already know this is 2 lambda by d so we can write here 2 lambda by d which is equal to here 2x 2x by capital d and 2 to cancel uh, sorry we cannot cancel here because 2x which is equal to beta we can write here beta by d and beta by d equal to 2 lambda 2 lambda by here small d and uh, beta is here so beta equal to beta equal to 2 lambda d by here capital d clear and this beta is known as uh, sorry this is known as linear width of central maxima clear and this distance you can find here also beta equal to this is angular width angular width into d is known as linear width angular width into d is known as linear width similarly suppose there is another bright point this point and you want to find this distance this distance you want to find clear and this is known as another uh, linear distance of secondary maxima so how can we find linear distance of secondary maxima linear distance of uh, linear width you can say here linear width of secondary maxima so how can we find suppose this point which is far distance away or we can take suppose this is n number of minima and this minima is n plus 1 number of minima suppose this minima n and this minima is n plus 1 so we can write here theta n theta n which is equal to n lambda by 
डी सिमिलरली थीटा एन प्लस वन हिच इज इक्वाल टू एन प्लस वन लामडा बै डी दिस इज द डायरेक्शन ऑफ डायरेक्शन ऑफ एंथ मिनिमा एंड दिस इज डायरेक्शन ऑफ डायरेक्शन ऑफ एन प्लस वन मिनिमा क्लियर ओके नाउ we have to find here uh, what is this angle because here this angle 2 theta and here also this angle which is equal to 2 theta clear so or this angle is known as separation between because this is central point separation between the a same relation here we use same relation here this same relation we have to use here this is the separation between this two this two is here so we can write here uh, Angular width, angular width of second maxima, secondary maxima, angular width of secondary maxima, which is equal to theta n plus one minus theta n, and we get here. If we use n plus one here, d sorry, lambda by d, lambda by d minus n lambda by d then we get n lambda and lambda cancel then we get lambda by d is here so lambda by d for width of uh, width width of nth width of nth secondary maxima which is equal to lambda d by d and how can we find linear width of secondary maxima so linear width can be calculated linear width which is equal to here linear width of secondary maxima because this value is constant for each so can write here angular angular width this formula angular width into d here angular width into d and here angular width is lambda by d lambda by d and into d this relation clear this is the width of any secondary maxima any secondary here maxima clear if you compare uh, this is central maxima here beta or you can write here suppose uh, this is known as beta not beta not is this much so beta equal to we get here beta equal to 2 lambda d by here d and beta not which is equal to lambda d by d so here beta equal to Two times beta not. This is beta not. Clear? So, the linear width of central maxima is two times of the any or uh, any width, any linear width of secondary maxima. This is central maxima and this is central. These are all about diffraction through single slit. Clear? So, how can we get maximum intensity and minimum intensity? You have to remember all the concept like this. Clear? Thank you all.